All right, so I showed you in a previous video how to quiet a double active aqua uh, air pump, sorry. And uh, I have another one that's just a single, but there's no air coming out of this one. And it's actually still quite loud. So like I showed you before, there's four screws on the bottom that you're gonna go ahead and remove. Once you remove those, <clears throat> you may need to break the seal, which I had to do with a small flathead screwdriver, and break that seal. <clears throat> Be careful when you remove the lid because it is attached. All right. Now, this is the internals, okay? So you have your air diaphragm, this is your air tubing that comes out the nozzle. Here's the magnet that vibrates back and forth, which is what sucks the air in. This is kind of like a primer bulb. And here is your copper coil. And this here creates the magnetic force to pump this. And here is all of your wiring and your control knob. Now in this situation, um, it looks as though the previous use has vibrated this to the point where it's actually raised up and it's rubbing here so if it can't move you're not going to get any airflow which prevents obviously air from coming out of the nozzle so the way i'm going to do this and i'm sorry i'm holding my camera with one hand i'm going to push this down i don't know if you, you can see how far down it's moving and it's bouncing back up so it's binding but you can see right here, right there, the little plastic piece slides in this groove. You wanna make sure that that is as far down as possible. And what I'll do, oh, see, that was in the way there. So that went down, there we go. And that'll allow this to go down. And I'm gonna tighten this up just a hair because this is what actually keeps this in place. Now you can see right here, this magnet is touching right there. And that's gonna prevent this from moving as fast as it can, allowing maximum air to come through here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this back. I wanna do it in a way that you can see what's going on here. So let me turn this around, okay? So again, I wanna push this whole unit back. And there's a lot of space in here which is where your zip tie is going to come in. So first, I'm going to push this back. Did you see the gap disappeared? And now the gap's up here. And look at the gap. We've got plenty of space. Plenty of space in here now. So that's going to vibrate smooth. And with the zip tie, I'm going to plug it in right there. And push it down as far as it'll go and what that's going to do is that's going to prevent this from sliding back up so with my scissors okay snipped problem solved now i'm probably going to get airflow and a quieter unit so let's plug it in can you hear it See it? It's moving. Now it's on low. You can barely hear it. It's maxed out. Now it's on max. And I got air flow in. So, very simple fix. All it takes is some scissors to fill up screwdriver a zip tie with a pointed end, and a little bit of patience. And by the way, the zip tie is still usable. All you did was take off the pointed end. <laughs> Saving money. All right, hope you learned something.